the best way to enjoy a book is you have to feel it it's the right time right when you start reading a book and you feel like you know it doesn't feel right you you can absolutely stop reading you you're not obligated to read it and finish it right away So hi everyone, this is Paul Loves to Read and this channel is all about spreading the love and joy for literature and I hope our little channel helps you find the right book for you. For today, I'm going to share with you Writers and Lovers by Lily King. The book is about this girl. Uh, it's, it's a first-person perspective. Again, it's fiction. Uh, first-person perspective um, about this girl called Casey. She's a writer. She's an aspiring um, novelist and she's been trying to finish this book um, but the story opens with her um, trying to cope with just the recent loss of her mom so she's still in that grieving mourning stage but on top of that she's also trying to balance everything else in her life you know you're trying to finish her novel while trying to earn de decent enough money through her waitressing um, to pay the rent <laughs> Um, and then she has, her background is that she also has a number of failed relationships in the past. I don't know exactly what made me decide to read this book. I know that this has been, uh, you know, this is a good book uh, according to the reviews in the bestseller list. It's kind of consistently up there. And it has been in my to read pile for quite some time now, but I've never really gotten around to it. I started reading it, I tried to read it before, months ago, but then... I don't know, it didn't feel right. I read the first few pages, it just didn't feel right. And then, as corny as it sounds, um, I read this just last week and I felt like I read it at the perfect time because <clears throat> I, wasn't, I wasn't feeling very well last week. I was in that kind of mental dark cloud. And when I picked this up, Writers and Lovers, and then I started reading the first few pages, I immediately related to her because she is also in that kind of mentality and that kind of, you know, that made me kept reading. And I finished the book in just two days. So I couldn't, I just, I couldn't put it down. Um, so you and I kind of, I guess, I guess I felt her. The, the book is really good. The book is really good. Um, it's very subtle. It's very sneaky. It's, you know, it's a simple story written brilliantly. It's a simple, you know, story about a struggling writer trying to make ends meet and trying to find love along the way. So it's a very simple story in that sense, diba. Right? But it's written really, really well because it's written very, you know, she's, she, she as in si Casey, she's a smart lady. She's written that way and she is, she has a, a, a like a vast, background, family background, yung papala, na parang the way the author reveals Casey and her story is very well-timed. Parang she doesn't give everything um, away, right away. So that helped build the story and that helped build you as the reader uh, liking her more and being able to relate to her, you know, to her family issues, to her money problems, to her love problems. Um, into her dream problems and and I dream as in she's she's been wanting to be a writer ever since she could remember but it's not easy diba? and then that's her dream and then reality kicks in and then suddenly she realizes that all her previous um, uh, well all her friends who previously also wanted to become writers like her they just you know they stop they they drop their dream or they pursued other dreams and they went into other fields of you know corporate life and so on. So parang siya na lang yung natira. She's the only one left pursuing her dream. So yon. So there's that angle to it. So I thought she's she's very relatable and she she her struggle is it felt real. Yeah. Another interesting thing about the book is the way it is sectioned. It doesn't have chapters. Um, and I didn't realize it until only halfway through the book. Um, and that's a good sign because it means I just kept on reading. I just kept on reading. And I, and I, thought, it, I thought that format was, that must have been intentional 
Kasi the way Casey's life is written or the way she tells her story is also that way. It's like it's relentless. It's just on and on and on, one after the other. One event, one thought after the other and how this event affects the other one and so on and so forth. There's no pause. The way she tells her story, she doesn't pause. It just goes on and on. And that is reflected on the format of the book, it not having chapters. You know, you don't pause, right? There's no pause in life. You don't, you don't just, you know, um, ito muna and then let's take a breather and then go on to the next. So it doesn't happen that way, not for her. And I kind of felt that. And I realized it only halfway through the book and that kind of made me think na, okay, that's interesting. It's the first time actually that I've read a fiction that doesn't have chapters. <laughs> you know. So it has a love triangle angle, which is cute. In my book choices genre, romance is probably at the bottom of my um, choices when it comes to genre. Why? It's not because I don't like romance, but because I've read a lot of romance way, way back when, and I think I'm done with it. Um, so I, I, I'm, when I read romance, I'm looking for something more. I'm done with the pacute romance. I'm done with the killing romance, which is all good, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love those things, but I'm done with it. So when I look for a romantic angle in, in the book, it has to be something more, has to be deeper. And this one, as the, as the title says, writers and lovers. So I should have expected that, diba? Right? But then it's very sneaky, it's very subtle, and it's very, <laughs> it's very real. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. It's not the usual expected meet cute in the movie, the right? Na, you know, like thunder, lightning strikes, and then, you know, love at first sight, whatever, whatever. Nothing like that. Uh, that doesn't ha normally happen in real life, and I thought they captured it here, the way she met the two guys, and how they're so different from each other, and both are great guys, and how she had to decide who is, you know, who is better for her, and who she ultimately loves, right? And I love how that was written. It's not, it's not cliche, it's not too much, just enough, just right, and at the end of it all, I love that it's not about, it's not about the men. It's not about the guys in her relationship. I love that it's about her. It's really her story. It just so happens that there's men. Throughout the, the story, she would reminisce about her mother, but ganun din. It's very, ano lang, very subtle. Nothing too deep. Nothing too heavy. Hindi pala deep. Nothing too heavy. It's just right. But that is actually the thread of the whole story. It's really about her, her relationship with her mother, and how that affected her writing and her views in life, and ultimately how the book ended, how her story ended, kind of ties nicely um, with, with her grieving for her mother. So it's really nice. The ending, I love the ending, by the way. I love the ending. It's beautiful. It's simple. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a good, it's, <laughs> she ended, Lily King, the author, ended Casey's story very nicely. I thought hindi siya OA. I thought it was nice and felt real. The Kindle edition that I got, apparently they recently added kind of an appendix at the back of the book um, about some thoughts from the author. I think she shared um, a little about an interview about her and about the book, about how she writes and so on. Because the protagonist, Casey, is kind of <laughs> like her. Uh, Casey is a writer. She's lived in different states and different countries. And I think see Lily King then, the author herself, kind of has that background. So, you know, as with any writing you as with any writing and writer, you would always end up with you with writing a little about yourself, right? It's really sharing a little about yourself. And at the end of this book, she has that little snippet of her writing process and I thought that was really that was really helpful um, because the whole book actually kind of makes you want to write. It inspires you to write because it's about a writer having writer's block. And at the end of it all, she overcame it. And then at the end of the book, um, Lily King herself kind of shared how she writes. And I love what she, what she said about her writing process because she's also a professor, by the way. So her being a literature professor and her being a creative writer, it's kind of really two very different disciplines. My key takeaway is that I think um, even before I read the bonus part, um, I already felt that with Casey's story her having a writer's block and having to overcome that and how she had to overcome that and how everything else in her life affects her writing process. Um, and I, I feel like every book lover 
every book lover is is kind of you know a writer also because we love stories we love reading stories and so you know by default you would love to tell stories as well so it's kind of just it's in there you just have to just have to write yeah it's funny because i read i, I tried reading it before diba right? like i said i tried reading it before and i i didn't i i couldn't kind of power through um but then when i read it the second time it felt right i don't, i don't know if that makes sense pero i guess in conclusion it's that it's a good book all in all bottom line it's a good book but i feel like you would appreciate it better if you are in that right mindset when you go into it and that goes with any like that goes with reading with any with with my staple advice when reading when you start reading a book and you feel like you know it doesn't feel right you you can absolutely stop reading you you're not obligated to read it and finish it right away the best way to enjoy a book is you have to feel it it's the right time right so for me that's what exactly what happened so i finished it right away and I